Okay, now, what was I up to? <laughs> Beans. Pop those in there. Is our rocket back? It is. I assume I probably waited for it. Don't think I ordered anything else, did I? No. Alright, let's chuck those in. It's eight, seven, six. Gonna order of what's good. Hey, it's so two more honey and we can send that off. Now, how are we going here? Not ready yet. 97? 100 of these already. We're probably going to need another locker just to keep hold of these. Just stare at them until they grow. There we go. Must be ready. There we go. So they take a little while. We need six of each before we can actually cook them. That's the, that's the annoying thing. So this is going to be a food locker now. I need to, yeah, place more beehives down, I think. And just really scale up my production of various things. But I should also start doing some exploration again. Because we just unlocked the ability to make the power, the fusion cells, the energy cells that allows us to unlock more of the wrecks. So we should do that. Uh, in we go. Alright, nice full complement. Doesn't get me much, but... Is there anything I actually want out of that? I don't think there really is. I've got to spare one of each of those seeds anyway. Maybe a couple of those. So I don't think these are ones that I can make, I think is the point. I haven't actually looked. I can't quite afford both of those, that and the butterfly larva. 1400% insect multiplier, that's absurd. But I could also just make more things. It's just I could just make more butterfly enclosures and, yeah, invest some time into doing that. Uh, we just let things just tick away. Uh, right, fusion power cell. While I'm out here, let's uh, empty that. Three pulsar quartz, osmium and obsidian. I need six pulsar quartz if I want to make two of them. Mm. See, now that's a rare material. I have one. Uh, because there's no way I can get more easily. I do have a power plant that's probably spare. I made way more than I needed to. So, <laughs> which was in this fit of free power. Uh, let's get rid of that one and I'm still fine on power. Uh, I didn't even need the, the other second one, I don't think. Yeah, we're still good. Alright, and now we can make a couple of those. Ah, there we go. Craft your first fusion cell. Uh, and I have an access card that I want to keep hold of. We could even... Um, this wreck isn't close enough to really care about, I guess, but we could just grab our teleporter. <laughs> grab our teleporter ingredients again. And then you just... Come here, teleport back. Come here, teleport back. But this doesn't feel like it's that huge. <laughs> it's all that old stuff. Uh, tier 2 heaters. Tier 1 heaters, in fact. Ah, uh, nostalgia. Bunch of eggplant that we never gotten rid of. Alright, we can now come in this wreck a lot more freely than we could the first time. So, where's our fusion generator? It this way this is probably the wrong wreck to come to for this stuff as well because we should probably go to one of the really big ones that will have some juicy stuff for us to find um can we take it out again after we put it in or what ah yeah you get a short window to be able to take it out again if you made the mistake and then it locks like the warden keys and now we have some emergency lighting can these doors now open? No, so these are not the doors that open. But this one has, it seems? Okay, so some have, some haven't. So this is definitely a new, new part. Circuits. And yeah, because it was a progression locked part, we now get some advanced materials. I wonder whether or not we could have just... Uh, unstuck through the door in the first place. That's probably how you break the game. <laughs> oh, we're getting stuck on something here. There we go. Oh, Volnus plant. Okay, we do get some of these. 
Uh, we can't carry all of those, but they're useless. Open big safe. Okay. Uh, not that valuable, to be honest, but... Compared to, like, 5,000 tokens that we found in another place, but... Okay, so we found the big safe. Uh, I am almost out of room. Let's just put some stuff in here. Let's just put the fertilizer in there. I just want to deconstruct that and then make a large locker. And we can keep hold of everything else. Uh, or at least we definitely want to take it back with us. But for now, let's go empty out that last crate. This one. Oh, another butterfly larvae. Clear out those as well, why not? Ooh, big crate. More pulsar quartz. Excellent. Okay, so that's how I'm getting more of that. Let's head back across. We've got one more fusion cell on us, and we now have the ability to make like two more. So that's good. In addition to exploring these wrecks further, we also have the warden keys. Upgraded knockers are nice. The honestly too nice i i feel they're, they're a step beyond what they needed to be it feels just game breaking at that point honestly i think yeah being slightly bigger would have been nice uh but with more downside the fact that they store more but take up less space somehow is absurd to me and i think that that's I would have preferred instead if it was like a deeper version of this perhaps so you sacrificed a little bit more maybe up to here uh, if it was just half again as deep and just looked different or something and stored half again as much for the tier 2 anyway and then maybe you have a tier 3 which you just call it a quantum locker and be done with it right because that's what it is at that point. But fine, yeah, it's it's fine. It is what it is. <laughs> the, the fact that you can just expand out so much makes space limitations kind of moot, really. Uh, so it seems weird that they would do something to help combat space limitations that don't exist. Especially when that you also have auto crafters, so you don't really need to worry about toing and froing that much. So we can now make one and one. Um, oh god, this is such a long-standing effort. Just to get nine terror tokens here, yeah, this is never going to pay itself off. Uh, we shouldn't have bothered with this, because we need to get so much from our farms so many times before we can make a single cookie. Uh, where is our teleporter going at the moment? And is it somewhere important? Ah, that's right, there's this one that we started to explore i feel that there was more that we could explore but i was full and i think running out of water okay i didn't come this way that's for sure oh and there's more stairs going down okay so these things are way too big for what you actually get out of them oh another access card how many do i need uh, i assume that if i use one it probably locks Again, we just keep staying left, essentially, for the time being. Another big rec room area. Another downstairs bit. Big server room area. Which honestly feels familiar, but no, nope, obviously haven't been here yet. 100 terror tokens. I'm going to be picky. I'm going to leave some stuff behind. We don't really need Lerma seeds. Okay, bot corridor. Ah, here's the fusion reactor. Okay. And we have some things, so we can actually unlock that, if we so wish. Probably shouldn't actually deconstruct those, but it lets me know where I've been. Alright, let's power it up. Okay, big safe, straight away. 100, 100, 5,000. There we go, that one's a bit more useful. So we'll see what else that's opened up for us now, I guess. That's the problem, is now I've got to go back everywhere to see what's now open. Can I go fly the plane now? <laughs> That's all I want to do, really. I just want to fly the plane. Gonna run out of room again. Oh, there's another explosive corridor as well. Okay, well, we don't have explosives. And we're out of 
space again. So we've got to go back. Okay, and yeah, we don't have more explosives. But then the last time... Yeah, see, the last time we encountered that, it was just around the corner anyway. So, sure enough. Alright, let's see if we can find our way out of here now. Where did we come into the... Oh, I haven't been here yet. Or have I? No, I haven't. Okay. It's a room that looks exactly the same, so it's hard to know whether I have or not, but apparently not. The first thing that you should find when you enter one of these bricks needs to be a map. <laughs> let me out. Don't want to be let in anymore. I want to be let out. Okay, up we go. There we are. And maybe I don't need to use a water bottle after all. Oh, we've got a bunch more Terra tokens for free, so that's nice. Boink. Alright, let's just dump the rocket engines in here straight away, shall we? Bomf. <laughs> uh, yeah, we haven't found any fuses yet, so I think maybe we do actually invest in some plant fuses. Oh, it wasn't actually full, was it? Oh well, never mind. Oops, uh, I could have put some of this stuff in. I've got enough to make a couple of explosives now, so that's good. I can make one right now, in fact. If we want to uncover another wreck. Uh, what was it for one of those tier 2 lockers again? Circuit board. And super alloy. So cheap for what it is. That's the other thing, is that if you were going to give me that ability... Probably should have made it uh, a lot more expensive. Like, it should require a super alloy rod or something by now. I feel. There you go. That's just going to have iron on it for now. <laughs> Do you play Minecraft? Looks good. Same sort of base feeling as Subnautica. It, yeah, that's... It's getting a lot of comparisons to Subnautica. And not surprising. I think it's a little bit unfair just to go, Oh, it's like Subnautica, but... It is like it. It has a little bit more focus in terms of the exploration and the the threads that are going on, but at the same time less focus, if that makes sense. It's certainly a much longer game regardless. Like, you're in here for the long haul. You can't just bust off the planet within an hour like you can in Subnautica. <laughs> right, let's swap out one of our tree seeds, and then we need to look at how to make some more of the tree spreaders if we need to. Got Osmium inbound. Where did that land? Up there. You can usually see them after they've landed anyway. For one, this gives you a jetpack, which you never had in Subnautica. You had to fly in a crab crawler. So, you know. I certainly like the ability to just zoom around. Free movement is good. Gets a little bit absurd sometimes, to be honest. But it's peppering our poor base up here. <laughs> and there's one more coming in still too. Where's it gonna land? Over there. Okay. You ever beaten some little good? Not the difficulty. Never wanted to. Perfectly fair enough. Yeah. I was gonna make some more tree things as well. We're going to have a plant fuse coming in as well. I really should organize these things a bit better. There we go. And that should get boost. Yep, 1900% oxygen. It's not getting any more updates. Don't ask me, ask the devs. <laughs> I don't think it should have gotten the updates that it did. So, go figure. It was by no means a perfect game, but it was a finished game, as I don't know quite why they messed around with it further, but they did, so uh, if you'd asked me years ago whether or not it was going to get any updates, I'd say no, why would they update it? But they did anyway, so <laughs> don't ask me. I swear if it breaks all the mods. Oh, it would. I mean, the mods already got broken from the last update. That's, that's just what updates do. I... I don't have any sympathy for the attitude of, oh, where well, a game update broke mods. Yes, because mods are third-party things. They're, they're additions. They are modifications to the game. 
a developer has literally no reason to feel that they should not break mods. If they can do an update and not break mods, great. It would be preferable for them to do that. It makes sense for them to do that to an extent. But a lot of the time the modding community is a, quite a minority of their player base. And if they're wanting to do updates to try and attract new players, they're not that interested in just satisfying a vocal minority of old players. So, you know, I get it. But at the end of the day, you are messing with someone else's game, so yeah, that it might break when there's updates to it if they re-architect bits of it. But just keep an old version of the game running, right? <laughs> Just make a copy of them. Just run, just run a copy. Still annoying. Oh, for sure. It's definitely annoying to have to deal with. But, like, that's your own problem, I'm afraid. Oh, here's our rocket pack. Excellent. And let's put this one over here. For a bit of variety. There we go. I think we've already got one of those tree seeds somewhere anyway. I've got a 150... Got a 175. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay. And we've got three oxygen fuses here, which now we're going to actually put a plant multiplier in that we should have received. Modern community isn't that small anymore compared to the holes of Smolica. I think you'll find it's still pretty small. And at the end of the day, it's a game that, you know, they've already put money into. And yeah, it, it's always going to be in a dev's best interest to try and attract more players rather than just satisfy old players. It's as simple as that. Just like the movement tweaks, but I feel like the unstuck feature is helpful with soft locks and stuff like that. No, um, it wasn't even necessary. The The point is I, I can't think of a scenario where the unstuck was necessary, quite frankly. Um, I don't know. Or at the very least I was, I wouldn't say lucky enough to, to encounter it. I think that it was extremely rare. The only kind of... <laughs> The only time I got stuck more recently was my prawn suit getting stuck in the base, which is a problem they caused by their updates. So I don't get any sympathy out of that. At the very least, the unstuck feature should be a lot more onerous, and it shouldn't be a simple just, oh, we're going to just bamf your player back a certain amount with, you know, it, it's just weird. But instead of it being like a restore point, it would make sense if it just moved your character a certain direction. Like it should be able to figure out where clear space is or something. I don't know. Unstuck features always just break games. Just, just don't have your player be able to get stuck, essentially. And at the end of the day, it's a single player game. If you get stuck in a place and you find that, oh, I have to go back to a save. Oh, I haven't been saving. I'm sorry, but that's a problem that's been solved for many, many years. <laughs> it's something that people have run into a lot. But I had never found a reason why there was an unstuck feature in the first place. Uh, we've been here. Oh, I somehow missed this one, though. I've got some obsidian. That's good. Like, the fact that the unstuck in this game, they just have bound to a key is just absurd. You can abuse the hell out of it, which is just terrible. I mean, at the end of the day, if you want to break the game like that by abusing it, that's that's your own volition. You're ruining your own experience. Fine, whatever. But it is a very strange decision by a developer to leave that in like that. Like, it should be a case of if you really, really, really get stuck and you really, really, really need a way out of it, then sure, have some provision for it, but make it harder to do. Bury it in a menu somewhere. It's not the sort of thing that should need to be easy access, because it shouldn't be the sort of thing that happens easily, right? In a finished game? <laughs> Surely? We're just going around in circles now, aren't we? Uh, we? We deconstructed a path that was already open, I think. I hate how everything looks the same in these bases. They really haven't added much for these. Okay, and this is the safe we've already been to, but we'll take the fertilizer over now. Oh, we've got super alloys raining from the sky now. 
Uh, but we're not going to be able to collect any of them because we're underground. So. F4 is a free jetpack in this game. I know, which is stupid. That's the worst one I don't like. If you don't want your game to be abused by uh, people doing stuff, then, yeah. I mean, it's a facetious thing to just say, oh, just make a game better. But at the same time, that is literally your job if you're a game developer. Should we go see if we can get some super alloys, shall we? Now, were they all just peppering the top, or were they all down here? They were down here, okay. So let's grab some super alloys then. Before they all disappear. We'll grab what we can. I do like the resupply mechanism. <laughs> oh, it's disappeared before we got to it. It is funny how... Oh, inventory film, there we go. That'll do. Uh, actually, we can uh, eat that and pick up that one. It is funny how you get used to scarcity and then all of a sudden it's just raining from the sky. <laughs> Zoink. I mean, the teleporter in this is kind of busted, but much more preferable to just walking back to base. So that's a, that's a convenience that I don't mind. movement in the game doesn't seem fleshed out it's fine really it doesn't seem that bad i mean i originally didn't like the fact that the jetpack wasn't really a jetpack um it was more rock boots than anything else it doesn't give you much elevation yeah we can finally make a cookie we have a cookie, which we can then sell or increase running speed for a small period. More importantly, we got an achievement for it. That was the most useless waste of time in many respects, I think. Um, it takes so long to get enough stuff just to make one. It's not great. Um, and now we're just going to send it off into space. It's only worth nine. It should be worth more than nine. Also, uh, the cake should be on here, and it should be worth more. Launch. Any place you get stuck in this game with a wreck labyrinth? Yeah, and that's getting lost more than stuck, right? <laughs> it's it's not getting stuck, per se. It's just because that they're far too convoluted for their own good. I think we go back one more time to that wreck that I've got my teleporter at. Uh, just because I want to check out the, the left path again. The way that was to the kind of launch bay just to make sure i've cleared everything out now that i've opened the door there's probably going to be more stuff that i'll find because say without some sort of map that should be something that's at least in the safe maybe is oh now you get a map so you can find your way around better make sure that you've actually got everything that would be nice <laughs> i mean i have a map but it just shows rocks, so, you know. Just keep going left. Oh, another safe. Excellent. I'm glad I came back this way. More Terra Tokens. Production Multiplier fruit Fuse, which is just worth 5,000 Terra Tokens. I don't actually care about the Fuse. Nice. I'm glad I came back here. It's like they applied procedural generation to these bases. Like, they're not unique for every person I bet they're static but it's like they applied it to them and then slapped them down into the game and then you've got the procedurally generated wrecks that you find from the portal generator I believe which I haven't got to that stage yet but I did read the notes when they were developing it I think we stick a fork in it and call this wreck done and now we want to deconstruct this and move on to another one at least another place there is a another explosive cave over this side we probably need more explosives than just the one now we only have one on us but we can at least try our luck what do you think generally of the 2.0 update for subnautica you mean just a waste of time <laughs> um i think they added one good thing and I think that was the 
sea glide uh the light and the map they incorporated the mod basically there was there was a mod that allowed you to and that's the other thing you're talking about not breaking mods to me if you're doing an update you should check what mods are used by the community and incorporate them into the game nice because um, if you're not doing that you're not going to satisfy your community you make it that they don't need the mods really except for really facetious ones oh hello this is new okay we have a new biome the, it doesn't look very nice to be honest um very blood elf <laughs> but what's this on the ground just rocks okay there's our normal resources yeah okay there is a ship that somehow is being supported by a very very strong tree that doesn't look right to me but okay we'll uh we'll suspend disbelief can i get in at all this is a very intact ship can i just get in and okay all well, the glass is broken never mind it would get a little bit windy up here i guess 